What is going on y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are heading to the DMP pens. We're at the front DMP pen right now. We have another one towards the back of the property. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit about what's inside these pens. We have two big bucks in each, uh, one in each pen, 20 does in each pen. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the bucks we got in here. I have their antlers with me. Um, we cut their antlers back off in uh, October. We caught them back in October. I'm gonna show y'all everything. I'll show y'all a bunch of videos of the helicopter when we netted these bad boys. Um, so this is the, we're gonna just start. This is the front, front pen here, front DMP pen five acre pen uh, we're gonna go ahead and go inside and first thing i'm going to show y'all is the buck that's in here his name's hercules many of y'all know him from my tiktoks um he is a a1 baby so he is born on the property he was born in our breeder pens um i'll show y'all a1 for those y'all that do not know what a1 looks like so yeah that's a1 he's an absolute unit um hercules though he's a beast i'm gonna show y'all real fast put you on the tripod y'all can see what hercules looks like this past year so here's another good look at hercules remember this is an a1 baby three and a half years old absolute unit and he's gonna breed all those 20 does so i'm gonna go show y'all we do weekly checks a couple things we check for we check for their food that's a big thing uh we feed protein while they're in these pens show y'all here we got two protein feeders going and y'all can see these are filled these are filled to the top so we got protein running 24 7. Uh, we got that feeder here protein feeder and then we got a, another protein feeder right here and so that's one thing we check make sure these bad boys are filled because um, these deer need to eat we put them in here at the beginning of november um, and they stay in here for two months so that's a key factor that we check on. And then the uh, other the other thing is water. They gotta have water. So we have a tank right here filled with water. Um, so they have some water source. And at the beginning of the year, we check the whole perimeter for any kind of coyote holes um, or anything like that. So those are the three main things um, we do in, in terms of checking to make sure these deer are safe. Um, they're getting the right food and water water source. I want to show y'all real fast. I just found two scrapes. And these scrapes have to be from Hercules. Because um, there's no other buck in here other than him. Take a look at these two scrapes. It's actually like kind of combined into one big scrape. Y'all can see right here. Two good looking scrapes. He's got his scent glands probably all in here. Uh, so it looks like he's doing pretty good. But Hercules, he's looking good. Um, hopefully we can get some great offsprings off him off of him this year um he's he's probably one of our better a1s if not our best a1 baby um that we have on the ground currently so that's his pen that's what this dmp pen looks like 21 deer total we're about to release them out back into the pasture next two weeks i'm gonna go ahead and lock it up we're gonna head to the back of the property where i'm gonna show you our other dmp pen that's got soldier in there yes y'all some of y'all remember soldier from the past couple years got soldier in there as lo as well as 20 does let's head to the back of the property y'all yeah, so we are at the second dfp pen this is at the back of the ranch 10 acre pen we got soldier as well as 20 does in here before y'all before i show y'all soldier show y'all the inside right here so this was the pen that we had that coyote problem that y'all saw that video years back um, i mean you can see all the footprints right here here's our water source little tank for the water um, and then we walk over here and we got <clears throat> two protein feeders just like just like the other pen got some corn mixed up in it as well and then this pen I mean just like the other one it's full brush so these deer are able to hide get under some cover when it gets hot outside soldier is in this pen I'm gonna show y'all his antlers right now all right, y'all, so here's Soldier at eight years old. I mean, he is everything you want in a typical buck. He's got the frame. He's got the brows. Those are easily six, I mean, probably seven-inch brows, eight-inch brows. He's got the uh, mass. He's got the tine length. Look, he brings the mass all the way up his tine lengths. He's everything you'd want um, in a buck. Uh, that's why we have bred him. This is the third year we bred him in this DMP pen, and there's a reason behind it. 
I'll show you all the photos of um, us catching him this past year. Run that clip. We caught him up in the hay field up there, um, netted him, and uh, he was actually bedded down. We had the helicopter come right up under him. But we got him to get up, come up and uh, we were able to net him. But this is what he looks like and he's in this pen. Breeding 20 does, we're gonna get some soldier offsprings as well. So we got Hercules in the top pen, soldier in the bottom pen, both 200 class bucks. Breeding, total of 40 does. We're gonna get at least 40 offsprings, possibly 60 offsprings, possibly 80 offsprings if they all had twins. Um, but there's gonna be a lot, lot, of, lot of fawns coming this summer, um, good genetic fawns out of these bucks and these does. So these are the two DMP pens. So I'm gonna throw some other clips in from back in October uh, when we were netting some of these deer. You can see some of the uh, does we were netting, uh, the two bucks. I'll throw some clips in right now for y'all. Grace, can you just send that thing to Yeah, that's it. Those are our DMP pens. I'm um, super excited to see the offsprings we get this coming summer. Uh, if y'all have any questions about any of this deep breeding stuff, whether it's the DMP pens or actual breeder pens, drop them down in the comments below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm starting to upload. We're gonna be uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So turn on those notifications every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is gonna be a brand new video. Uh, we got a hog hunting video coming um, that we're filming tonight. Y'all are not gonna wanna miss that next video. Hit that notification, hit that sub. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all next video. Peace.